Alright, right, hey everyone. Um, so Christian and I just took like three buses to get here. Um, we from 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 Dania. That's how you pronounce it, by the way. We we weren't sure when we got here. Um, from Dania Beach, we had to take the one, and then the 31 and the 36. It took us about two hours to get here. Was it really two hours? Yeah. Oh, well, in, and not including the time that the bus is late. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so this is what the area looks like when this is the. You got to turn on that street from the bus stop, and we're walking over right now. Uh, according to the pre-op packet, we are not allowed to film in the office or record anything. Uh, we're not allowed to film or record anything up until the post-op appointment, in which case I'll be recording all of the things there. <laughs> um, okay, well, uh, yeah, bye. So, Christian and I just got out of my pre-op appointment. And I look ridiculous, by the way. I'm just, like, walking down the street with my arm out. Um, okay, this is my pre-op or, like, my post-op packet information, my prescription, all that good stuff. Um, trying to think. Oh, yeah, okay, so they did the me uh, Dr. Garamoni. Okay, Dr. Garamoni doesn't look anything like his picture no, on his website. Doesn't. It's weird as fuck. Okay, it's He's just, really it's tall. Weird. I was expecting yeah. that. I was expecting him to be short. Cause I, <laughs> Christian and I were talking about it before he came in. We were expecting him to be short. His hair is longer than it is on the website. Yeah. It's more gray. Like, like he just has really hoary hair. But, um, like, yeah, and he has less hair than he does on the website. Um, that was he, I, a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I that, felt lied he to. Took, he took the picture a long time ago, basically. Um, but, I mean, he's nice. He's a really nice guy. Yeah. Soft handshake. Um, not that that matters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are we going? Christian uh, Publix is across the street. Okay, so right now we're headed to Publix. Um, and yeah, so the antibiotics at Publix are free and it's only at Publix. Uh, it's spelled with an X, not like a CKS or a CS or whatever. Um, it's like Pub and then LIS. Yes, exactly. Um, so yeah, it's, the antibiotics that you that you get are free there, only at Publix. And then the Vicodin is $20 at Publix. Um, I was told that they were both free, so, um, oh, Bridget is the shit, okay? Yes, I love her. Brid like, Bridget is awesome. I think, I think a shit ton of people go to Garamoni, not just because of Garamoni, but because of fucking Bridget, because she's awesome. She's a beast. Yeah, based, love in her. a good way. Yeah, oh, yeah good way. Uh, <laughs> love What was her. the other person's name? Krista? Krista was also really no, cool. No, it wasn't Krista. I thought it was Krista, or maybe it was, it was Jessica. Crystal. Crystal? No, it was Jessica. It was Jessica. Jessica? Jessica. Okay, Jessica's the person who accidentally emailed me saying that I look awesome the other night. <laughs> that was really funny. I got an email saying, per Dr. Garamoni, you look awesome. And then she misspelled Dr. Garamoni's last name, and it was funny. Um, <laughs> um, okay, what else? Am I missing anything? Um... No. Oh, Bridget hooked us up with the free car, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Car, serv car service to the operation tomorrow. Yeah, she asked us if we have transportation for the surgery tomorrow. And I was like, uh, we're just going to bus it and take a cab back. And she was like, she just shook her head. And she was like, nope. Mm -hmm. uh, no. -uh. I'm going to hook you up with a free ride. Okay, I will. Okay. And then I was like, okay, Bridget, you do what you do, girl. You do what you do. You, do, what you, do. do, you, do you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Love her. Okay, so we're going to public right now and we're done looking really weird. So, uh, bye! Oh. Hi everyone, we're back. Um, we did Ira's pre op appointment, right? It's the pre op one, right? Yeah, because okay. I'm not in the <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Dang, okay. Um, yeah, it took us like 6,000 hours on bus. Um, the bus rides are really intense, like super intense. The drivers here just really they don't give, a fuck they don't give no fucks about anyone. They honk in their horn and they don't give no fucks. They, uh, like two of our drivers, because we took six buses total today, two of our drivers started driving while people were start, like getting on and off the bus. They don't wait for you. It doesn't matter if like you're disabled or like or if you're physically able. It doesn't like they don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> It's it oh and they speed a lot and take crazy like, turns and hey, watch your language um oh sorry <laughs> that's all good. intense turns my apologies everyone um but like they're just really intense and really ridiculous and scary they're like legitimately scary they are and like the the bus is almost like a boat it like wobbles a lot okay so um okay so Publix is across the street from 
the Aesthetic Plastic Surgery Institute, um, which isn't like super blatantly marked. The the street address is, but it doesn't really say like um, APSI anywhere. Not that I noticed, and it's kind of behind like some bushes. It doesn't face the street. Um, it is across the street from the mall, though. So if you if you see the mall or like this, what was a what was in the what was on the intersection? Like an alligator structure in the middle. Oh, the yeah, it was like, it was like basically this big like green metal structure. What was the, it called? I forgot what it was called. I thought it looked funny. Yeah, it was this green metal alligator crocodile thing. Um. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that is not where Publix is. Publix is in the opposite direction of the mall, and you'll know what I'm talking about if you physically put yourself in that in that place. Um. So yeah, uh, Publix they'll give you um, they'll give you the cephalexin for free. Uh, that's the antibiotic that you have to start taking immediately so that way you don't, uh, well, not before your, not before your surgery, but post-op, you have to start taking it right away. Um, the, I was told by Bridget that, um, that the Vicodin was going to cost about 20 bucks, but it actually ended up only costing me ten ninety five. uh, so that's not so bad. In the pre-op appointment itself, you do have to take off your shirt. You don't have any markers on, though. Um, I kept the little coat that they give you. It looks like this. Um, there is an opportunity, like you don't have to change in front of anyone. Dr. Garamoni leaves the room. There is an opportunity for your surgery companion to leave the room if they want. Um, and you put it on so that it's open in the front, but Garamoni tells you that, you know. Um, uh, he takes some measurements. He takes three measurements on each side. Um, and so I, I was, and he writes it down. I was looking, uh, mine was like, 23, 14, 9. I'm not exactly sure what he was measuring. It went from top to middle to bottom. Or, like, measuring the width and then the top. And then, I think, from the nipple down. Um, so, yeah. And I'm not sure if it's, like, centimeters. Because I feel like this is not 23 inches. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, um, you have to get there, what it seems to be, an hour and a half before your surgery. But they're, they're obviously going to tell you that. Um, they give you a post-op surgery shopping list. They're also going to tell you to buy some other things. They haven't told me yet, but I got a heads up from uh, someone else. Um, so yeah, I we had to get milk of magnesia uh, or Tylenol. fruit juice, but she no. but Bridget says it works better. Milk of magnesia, um, Benadryl uh, or Baby Claritin, wipes. but Bridget said uh, Benadryl works faster. That's for the itching um, and. Oh, and you can get baby wipes, but I'm just using a washcloth um, to save money. Also, you are allowed to shower. You just can't get anything wet. I know other surgeons say otherwise. Um, you're allowed to shower, but you can't get anything wet. You're allowed to shower, but you can't get your bandages wet. So if you want to, like, you know, lean over and get your hair wet a little bit or, you know, like, stick your butt in. like do a ve You can do a very shallow, shallow bath. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to talk to the owner of the hotel to see if maybe I can get, like, a bench to help out, um, I'm trying to think, but yeah, that was pretty much it. The bus system is not impossible to navigate here. It is just incredibly difficult and strenuous and tiring. Um, literally all we did today was go to the pre-op appointment and we probably would have, like, we just got back within the last hour and my appointment was at one. So, um, it was like what, two and a half, two and a half hours almost per, per, per bus, yeah, or per, or trip. per trip. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. We're gonna continue commuting. We're gonna go to the 7-Eleven nearby here. Oh, um, my recommendation to you is, based on the area that I saw, do not get a hotel nearby, um, the place, uh, nearby the Aesthetic Plastic Surgery Institute. There's not that much there. It looks like either... It's either a corporate park or it's incredibly suburban. I can't really tell. Oh, you didn't mean that building across the street? That big one, it was a hotel. It was um like I know, but I wouldn't the recommend garden, staying there. It was expensive. It had to be expensive. it was by a Hilton. I is would, what it was. I so imagine it that there's not expensive. that much there though. That's the only yeah. thing. Like and for us, there's not that much here either. The area is basically like a giant strip mall, which isn't entirely bad, but there are like there are local shops for like late night snacks, things to like eat if you need them, if you forgot to pick it up. It didn't seem like there was much of that there with the exception of that one shopping center. Um 
Uh, and yeah, that wasn't, it wasn't a particularly short walk to go from the shopping center to the bus stop either. It wasn't long, but it was just longer than it is to go right outside the hotel room and get the bus stop. Um, uh, oh yeah, we're staying at Liberty Suites. Just so you know, uh, if you plan on staying here, it's really awesome. Joe is one of the owners. He's really, really cool and incredibly compassionate. Uh, but it is a clothing optional <laughs> hotel. So if you are offended by nudity, I wouldn't recommend staying here. Um, but yeah, and that's it. That's all I can think of. Do you have anything, Christian? No, no. Okay, yeah. All right. That's everything. See ya. Uh, my surgery is tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I will be making a video tomorrow night as well, but I will probably be on a different planet. So. No smoking. And, oh, yeah, no smoking. Um, Can't smoke. Oh, I forgot. This video is so long. Okay, I forgot, but Dr. Garamoni is an incredibly fast talker. When he's talking to you, pay attention. Um, because it seems like he's just so used to, like, saying all of it that, that you know, but ba da ba da ba da ba da Got it? Easy stuff. He's, like, telling me about all the ways that I can die. He's like, that's it. And it's, like, ten different things. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> um, but, yeah, okay, so I will talk to you all tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Stop right there.